السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لیسانی یفقہ قولی ربنا زدنا علما اللہم فقیحنا فی الدین اللہم انی اسألوک علما نافیا و رزقا طیبا و عملا متقبلا آمین رب العالمین So here we are with our session number 74 الحمدللہ and we are going to start with the review انشاءاللہ Who remembers what did we learn uh, last um, week? What was the word that we learned, which was very important and very different too. Barakallahu feek, my dear sister. So, Laysa. So, when we have gone over Laysa and um, we have learned the definition of, we have gone over again the definition of fail tam. If you remember, my dear sisters, right? So what is fail tam? Let's start with fail tam and then we'll see why is Laysa Nakis. Okay. So what is the definition of fail tam? A fail tam must have three conditions. It has to meet three conditions. Okay. So a fail tam is a fail that has an action that has a doer. So if it has an action, so automatically it will have a pronoun, right? It it must have a fail, any fail, any fail has a time pronoun, okay? And, and time pronoun and action, right? So I, I will write fail, define fail time, a fail that has time, tense, which means time or tense, it must have time or tense. Number two, it has a action. No, number two is a pronoun. Let's just make pronoun here. And then number three was an action, right? Time, tense, hmm? pronoun, and action. It, this is must for a fail to be called a fail, okay? When we look at Laysa, what is missing there? Laysa is translated as is not, are not, am not. What is missing? We have tense, we have a pronoun, but we do not have an action. So no action, since it has no action, we are going to call Laysa fail nakis. Everyone understood this. If I tell you, we treat Laysa as in Jumla Ismiya, the sentences containing Laysa are going to be treated as Jumla Ismiya, will there be any objection to that by my class? Any student has any objection to that? Why, my dear sisters? I understand that now you, you know, because we, we have learned it, but can you explain just, you know, why are we going to treat it as Jumla Ismiya? Because, you know, the my fail does not have an action. So Jumla failure, yes, absence of an action will justify sentences that are being negated by Laysa to be treated as Jumla Ismiya. Everyone understood this so far. I uh, type one if you have, because this is something that is going to be making the whole lot of difference between you and any student out there. Okay, so when we are treating it uh, Jumla Ismiya containing Laysa as Jumla Ismiya, the reason is Laysa does not have any action. Okay, so since it does not ha have an action, we are justified to call our Jumla Ismiya containing Laysa as Jumla Ismi, okay? Ran Sister Rana's because Laysa does not have an action. So if it does not have an action, how can we say file, mafool? It, will it make sense calling its component as the sentence of a Laysa um, file and mafool? Because we this is something coming up next, right? Pronoun in Laysa, pronoun in Laysa is called. And if I have said, you know, um, anything like file, I'm wrong, okay? And I may have said towel file in the past lesson. So please, everything, everything with you, if I give you Laysa, you are going to tell me and I'm going to ask you, what is, if you see Laysa, this Laysa, and can you see my cursor, you know, my pointer, you know, pointing over the Laysa, who is the Damir? Where is the Damir? Who is the Damir? Is it visible? No, it's not visible. It is mustatir, right? So if it is the mere mustatir, hua, and we know from assumption because there is nothing after the third root letter, 
So if it is the a hua, am I going to call it this hua file or I'm going to call it laser, ismu laser. Ismu, very well done. Alifu listnain, ismu laysa. Wa wil jama'a here, ismu laysa. Here, the mir mustatir again, in case of laysat, hiya, ismu laysa. Okay? Laysata, alifu listnain, again visible, ismu laysa. Nunu niswa, ismu laysa. Lasta, taul, ta, that was previously called in a regular fail time, it is called, called taul file, but now I cannot call it file anymore because laysa, does it have an action? Because File is for an action, right? When you don't have an action, how can you call a pronoun as a file? You have to call it ismulaysa ta. And in every case, you will find ismulaysa ta, ismulaysa ta, ismulaysa ta, ismulaysa ta, 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 and then again ismulaysa ta, and then comes your last na. Again, I'm not going to call it now filein anymore. I'm going to call it ismulaysa na. I hope this was clear to each and every one of you. Now, when you see any, any sentence, any sentence, you will be very, you should be very well versed with it. You should have no confusion why I am going to call something as something, okay? Just like I kept on reminding you when we were doing inna wa ikhwatuha, call your muptada now ismu inna, right? Because now your muptada does not remain hua uh, or like um, rough and rough status. Now it is the hua has become inna hu. Now it is nasbin status. So give it a, a right name, which you will find in classical books of Arabic grammar. It is called ismu inna or ismu ka'anna, ismu laita, ismu la Allah. Similarly, the pronoun that is in, in built in laysa or an ism that comes in rough status after laysa or laysat is going to be called Ismu Laysa. Any questions so far, my dear sisters? Okay. So if everyone is, yes, it's rough in status, it is rough in status, Ism of Laysa is rough in status. Barakallahu feek. Yes, this was also a very important point that Ism of Laysa is a rough in status. Yes, Barakallahu feek. Yes, very well done. So compared to who in who or in whom that are nasbin status, laysa. When I asked you what's the status of ismu laysa, you are going to give me this. You know it is rough in status. Okay, barakallahu feek. Everyone with me so far? Type one if you are. Okay, let's do do the next question. Okay, so laysa is called fail jamid. So I have a reason there. Why is it going to be um, jamid? It's fixed, frozen only. You know, seen in, you know, a Laysa form. Do you know why is it called Jamid? If you see in your slides, I have written it next to it. There is, it, it's only available in Madi form, okay? It's only available in Madi form. There is no Mudare, there is no Amr for it. Every fail that you have learned, you have learned fail Madin, Mudare, and Amr for it, right? Nasara, Yansuru, Unsur, right? Ja'ala, Yaj'alu, like that, right? But I don't, uh, I cannot tell you Laysa Yalaisu, okay? There is no Laysa Yalaisu, it is only Laysa, okay? So therefore, I'm going to call it Jamid. Everyone understood this fact as well? And these are, these may be very difficult concepts, but inshallah, with the constant and re 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 revision, inshallah, you will be very well versed with each and everything. You were not, I don't think most of us um, learned Laysa, like, you know, what, what was Nakis, you know, when I was learning in the beginning, um, it was very hard for me to, you know, what is Nakis, what is this business? So, but, you know, eventually everyone learns. Yes, I can repeat, Laysa is called Fail Jamit because it only has one form, okay? There is no Mudare, there is no Amr for it. That is why we are going to call it Jamit. This term, Jamit, is in your slides as well. It has, and there was a question asked, um, you know, um, that day as well, that does it have any other forms to it? So it is, only has one form. It conjugates in um, Madi form, but how is it translated? What do you think? How is it translated? When I translate Laysa, is it tr translated as in the Mudare form 
as a present tense or as a past tense, my dear sisters. It is translated in a present tense form, right? You will see it being translated in a, as a present tense form. It conjugates like present or past. What do you think? It conjugates like a past tense. Just like, you know, you see all your pronouns that you saw them, that you saw in your past tense, right? But now we are not going to call it file anymore. They are Nunu Niswa. All of them are now going to be called Ismu Laysa, right? So keep that in mind, but it conjugates like a past tense. Its ending is same as the ending of past tense. Okay, it acts, you know, it make a, makes a conjugation like a past tense form, in a past tense form. Okay, so do we have is not, am not, are not in Arabic like ana muslimun? I have ana, I have a translation for ana, which is I, muslimun is Muslim, but am is there, is am there? No. But do we have is not, am not, are not in Arabic now uh, that we have learned Lisa? Yes, we do. Okay. So keep that in mind. You, just to simplify things. And this is also some, some you know, oversimplication. Sometimes there is a word that may be translated as is, am, are. But, you know, for now you just, you know, for the most common sentences that we have learned, we do, do, did not have any am, are, or is there, okay? We just put them in, you know, we added them, right? Ana muslimun, antu muslimuna. I added R or, you know, but I, there was no R there, right? A-R-E was not there, it was absent. Hmm. Okay, so um, we were learning about the khabar of Laysa. What's the status of khabar of Laysa? What have we learned? Khabru Laysa is Nasbin status. That was very, you know, unique, right? So far, so far, our khabar of Jumla Ismi is always rough in status, but we learned last week that, you know, khabar of Laysa is Nasbin status or fi mahalli Nasbin. And fi mahalli Nasbin happens when your khabar is a sentence. Everyone with me so far? Hmm? Alhamdulillah. Okay. So now uh, today, before I take you to complete review, because I have adiyat left from the last week, but still I'm not going to go back to that because I want you to understand this concept very clearly. Um, so everyone, you know, is well versed with Laysa because this is going to be seen in Quran very often. I want to finish this off before I take you to review, okay, inshallah. And inshallah, the, the review is of the previous concepts and basically um, we keep on doing it and this is... Um, everything is for your benefit. It benefits um, whatever is uh, put together is for your benefit. But let's just, you know, finish this topic completely and then we'll go back okay, if we have time. So to add emphasis to the khabar of Laysa or to Jumla Ismiya that contains Laysa, sometimes what we will see is that Laysa will have harf jar ba added to it. And this harf jar ba, you all have to know, attaches itself to the khabar of Laysa. Okay? So in that case, now the khabar that was supposed to be nasbin status is looks like a word that is jarin status. However, it is still nasbin status, assumed to be nasbin status because khabru laysa, we have learned is always nasbin status. And we know that this ba is not there to come as mutalib bul khabar. We are not going to call this Ba as mutalik bil khabar because we have we know that this ba is just there to add more emphasis to make my khabar more emphatic. So look at this example. Inna anna laha laysa bi zolamin bi lil abid. So if I translate this, that indeed Allah He is not at all cruel. To his slaves, or you know, does a lot and does not at all um, does wrong to his slave. Not at all, he does any wrong to his uh, slaves. So, do you notice this at all in my sentence when I'm I was translating it? This at all is coming from B. This at all is coming from B. When we add more emphasis to any sentence by bringing certain haruf that are called haruf-e-zaida 
that change the arab of the sentence because the arab is just changed to bring more emphasis we call them as huruf e zaida okay in remember in quran there is nothing that is zaida, that is extra literally most of you have understood word zaida or ziyada as something that is extra right in quran there is nothing extra keep that in mind so when you understand this when i'm call, when i'm telling you that this ba is coming to add more emphasis to add more emphasis and it is zaid the and the thing that you need to understand is you are not going to call this structure as mutalik bil khabar okay this structure as is not going to be called as mutalik bil khabar you will understand is understand it as your khabru laysa that has ba zaida lit tawkid for emphasis it is going to look majrur or jaran status visibly but in fact it is mansub it ha it is mansub okay it is coming as it is khabar that is mansub and it is that this ba is not there to give you a meaning of with in or all those meanings that ba can have okay ba zaida it is an on you can you can see my slide right ba zaida yes it will look jar it will it will it is jar wal majrur you are going to call it jar wal majrur but you are not going to call it mutalik bil khabar you are going to call this khabru laysa khabru laysa with ba zaida and ba is lit tawkid is for emphasis is adding more emphasis when you call this that it, you, it means that you have understood you have understood that here this ba is just coming to bring more emphasis in your jumla ismi you have gotten the concept of adding ba to your khabar and then as a result of that you now the sentence is way more emphatic than it was before any questions should i repeat myself it is you know now every time now you how you will attempt your verses you will look you will look at laysa you will look for it is it's ism okay when it is laysa or laysat what do you look for you will look for the ism that can be present outside the laysa sometimes it may not be dhameer mustatir because just like hua hiya you are going to be looking for an ism after it if you say see laysa or laysat so here a subhu is coming it uh, coming up as ismu laysa now you are going to be worried about its khabar right you have its ism now you have to have its khabar like in jumla ismiya hum zalimun hmm? hum they are wrong doers but now when i have laysa so i have to look for khabru laysa similarly just like in jumla ismiya i was hum zalimun I, i i i look for khabar similarly in a sentence containing laysa you are going to look for its khabar and or mutalik bil khabar and here bi qareebin is coming up as its khabar and how do i know that because i know that laysa can sometimes have ba zaida attached to its khabar if it was not ba zaida then i'm going to call it mutalik bil khabar okay if it is not ba zaida and it is jar wal majrur just uh, any ba and i'm going to call it jar wal majrur mutalik bil khabar but here this ba is coming for emphasis to make the sentence more emphatic therefore i am going to call jar wal majrur khabru laysa not any ba and i'm going to show you that when i was teaching you laysa here laysa lakum bihi ilmun attempt this sentence my dear sisters again we have done it in the past but at that time i did not teach you about ba zaida now let's see it laysa is in the hua version so 
when it has in uh, ahua as a pronoun, I will lo look for ismulaisa. So where is ismulaisa? What is your ismulaisa in this verse, in this part of the verse? Ilmu is your ismulaisa. What is lakum? Jarmal majroor, what are you going to call? It is going to be mutalik will khabar. What is bihi? Bihi, jarwal majroor. Now, again. Now, what, what are you going to? No, you are not going to call. It is again MBK. Why is it MBK? What have we learned about our khabar? Khabar, khabar is something that gives you an information with a pronoun, with a pronoun, are we getting any information? Is it clarifying anything? No. So it's again mutalik bil khabar. However, when you look at anna laha laysa zullaman, if I make it zullaman, lil abid, hmm? zullaman lil abid, can I call, can I get any information from Zollaman? Does it give me information? Focus, focus, focus. Hmm? Zollam, does it tell me anything? It gives me the entire information. What is not Allah? Allah is not what? It is answering my curiosity. It is giving me clear picture. But Bihi, does it give me clear picture? So I will not call it Bazaida. But this ba, this ba, this ba is going to be called ba zaida. Can you note the difference between these two bars? You know, always understand things. Yes, it is only going to be attaching itself to the khabar. And khabar will be very clearly seen as khabar. You will know that this was the khabru laysa that has a, dish, a, a zaida attached to it. You will be able to, with more practice and understanding, if you know that my khabar is something that provides me with information, you will not be wrong. You know, this, the, 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 you, you know when I was um, at your stage, um, actually, I was at a very, um, I would say, a lot more premature stage. I would be very confused about this uh, part, this verse, that, you know, can it be the ba zaida? But now when I look back and I, you know, I put two and two together, now I understand that how can it be ba zaida? When with, with a pronoun, I don't, uh, pronoun is something vague. It is not something definite, right? It, I don't know, Bihi, you know, it's, it's, it's not something definite. It's mainly, you know, when you have something definite like Qareeb. If I say, I, if I tell you, Alaysa Subhu bi Qareebin, is Subh not near? Or I, if I just remove this bar, I lay so subhu qariban. Make sense or no? Do I get my khabar? Do I get my definite khabar with, with, that makes complete sense? Can, can this bar be ba zaida? Yes. So should I call it ba zaida? Should I call this construction as Khabru laysa with ba zaida, or should I call it mutalib bil khabar? Hmm? It is khabru laysa with ba zaida. It is khabru laysa with ba zaida. Let's look at a few more examples, okay? Laysa bi kharijim minha. Laysa. What am I going to look for after looking at laysa? When it is laysa. Ismu Laysa, number one. Where, what is Ismu Laysa here? Where is Ismu Laysa? Ismu Laysa is Hua. So it is Damir Mustatir. Hmm? Damir Mustatir Hua is Ismu Laysa. Now I'm going to look for Habru Laysa. Right? After Muqtada, you know, or whatever, Ismu Laysa, I'm going to look for Habru Laysa, just like I do in any regular Jumla Ismiya. So wh where is the Habru Laysa? Do I see any construction? Kharijin, Kharijin, right? Bi Kharijin, this is Khabru Laysa with Ba Zaida. Minha, what should I label Minha? Jarwal Majroor Mutalib Bil Khabar. This is easy. Hmm? Now again, now again, now, now you will have the difference. Laysu, 
what is the ismu laysa barakallahu feek wow is the ismu laysa which is home representing home barakallahu feek wow representing home is my ismu laysa biha biha jarbal majroor what should i call this mutalib bil khabar everyone on the same page right again pronoun attached so nothing no you know it's still big bi kafirina what do you think bi kafirina can it be khabru laysa hmm? it is khabru laysa with ba zaida it was you know it, this will be the same because jar and um, nas form of uh, um, muslim chart are the same we have learned like you know kafiruna kafirina kafirina so this is jar wal majroor khabru laysa with ba zaida right everyone understood this so far is it getting clearer or this we are still the same okay now let's see another example alaysa allahu alaysa allahu a is her for istifham okay la muhallalahu min al arab i don't worry about arab here laysa again i'm going to look for ismu laysa do i find one lafzul jalala lafzul jalala is my ismu laysa now i will have to look for the khabru laysa do i find one bi kafin hmm? bi kafin is the khabru laysa right everyone understood this concept so far now again this one by mistake i have put it here because this is such a beautiful part of the words that i just wanted to put it somewhere and i by mistake added it to laysa plus ba zaida it should have not been here but you know just bear with me let's do the arab of this uh, verse this part of the verse this is from a uh, verse abdahu i'm going to teach you that concept um, later alina this is um, the, uh, you will just call ka kafin as a uh, khabru laysa and this part i'm going to teach you inshallah my dear sister this is uh, an advanced concept and i this is um, you know after a few weeks or months i'm um, probably it is going to be couple of months we'll get there inshallah okay so again again another verse laysa ka mislihi shayun so laysa again i'm going to look for ismu laysa right do i find one huwa Oh, uh, uh, Alina, who? Yes, it is Bazaida. Uh, um, ba here is Bazaida. Ba kafin is Bazaida. This Shayun, right? Shayun is Ismu Laysa, right? Shayun. Hmm. Everyone with me? Kamislihi, right? Which is you know uh, because sale because of the sale sign you might have gotten you know a little confused, but that's okay, right? Kamislihi, kamislihi again, kamisli. Jarwal majroor, misli he is a idafa. So it, this entire thing is your mutalib bil khabar. So instead of just saying he is not coming out from it, he is not at all coming out from it. Where is this at all coming from? And you must have seen this in your word to word, my dear sisters. Now your word to word should make sense to you, and you have to ask your group in charges that you know is this because of the bazaida okay when you have sister faiza as your you know who is conducting your group make sure you ask her okay so bi kafirina laysu biha bi kafi biha bi kafirina they are not at all going to um disbelieve in it this at all where is this coming from is this coming from this or this first ba or second ba give me first ba or second ba the number two ba right b kafirin is allah not sufficient is allah alone not sufficient for his slave when I, why am i adding this alone or this added you know meaning to to this sentence because of ba zaida because of right because of ba zaida i am adding hmm? is allah alone or for air because i cannot say not at all it's you know not uh, you know it's uh, to uh, befit does not befit allah subhanahu wa taala so you know is allah alone not at all uh, sufficient for his slave hmm? so it, do you understand that why this bias here everyone understood this concept so far 
Alhamdulillah. Okay. I see Sister Zora, Sister Sabra, I let me see who else is in the room so that we, Sister Ambreen already knows this. Sister Roxana, is this clear? My dear sister? Faiza? Faiza Abdurab? Hmm? So every time at all is there, or if it is not there in your translation, do you assume it to be there? Do you know that now it is a very emphatic sentence? Because you, this is the crux of your grammar. That is why you are learning grammar so that you understand the difference between a regular negation versus a negation with emphasis, with an zaida haruf in it, okay? So ba zaida, you know, linguistically, English, linguistically, you say, you know, it is zaida, but it's not, you know, extra. It is very much needed. It is there for emphasis. Urdu uh, for this. Okay, okay. Making sense? Or, and Quran does not have, you know, an audio. But your understanding of grammar, you know, makes it sound, you know, like, you know, it, it, it is audible. Allah is literally talking to you. Right? And it should be like this. Okay. So I hope this is clear and inshallah, we will do practice of this again and again. And we are learning another um, uh, particle that works very much like uh, Laysa. So last week, we also learned about Innafia. And I do have this, you know, uh, here in your, um, you know, notes that it has three types. And the one, it, people who want to know the names of each and every type, for them, I have also added the one that you are going to commonly see in Quran with Jumla Ismiya is in, that is called in Muhmila. Okay, in Muhmila. Okay, and we are we only see this in, um, in Quran. So, and there is one in that acts like Laysa. So what will happen to that in? What will be the khabar of that in that acts like Laysa? What do you think? Well, khabar will happen to the, like, you know, here you see, in hiya illa fitnatuka. So this is vitadamma. But if in acts like Laysa, its khabar is going to be nasbin status. Barakallahu fi kum, my dear sisters. Right? Its khabar is going to be Naspin status, and that's the only difference. You you may come across that in in hadith literature, or you may come across that in um, in your tafasir. However, you will see your tafasir without any tashkil. We you will not see any fatada makasra. So you should be, you know, you will see alif at the end of the thing. That will be an indication that your the word was nasbin status. So yes, um, so for. Yes, no, it is, you know, when it is, when, when you, so let me tell you, when it is with Jumla failure, it is Ghair Amila. You will call it Ghair Amila, okay? You will call that in, uh, let me show you how uh, you are going to do it. Uh, for for those of you who are very, you know, who are doing it like, you know, how we do things, we should do things, let me just tell you. For you, um, I am going to, uh, let's see, uh, how can I go back to my thing? Okay, now, one second, let me just, uh, clarify it very um, I have that for you okay let me see let me see so you will see it like this and wow in nafia when you have jumla failure and you see in in your jumla failure you are going to simply call it in ghair amila okay if you want to add in your you know how you I give you a table form uh, for arab you can put everything there in ghair amila okay when you see your jumla ismia it has two types, amila, muhmila. When it is not working, when it does not bring any change to the Arab of your jumla, ismia, the name for it, the right terminology for it is muhmila, okay? And you don't need to learn it, if, but you, if you have the understanding that now there is nothing that is going to happen to the Arab of my jumla, ismia, therefore I'm going to call it muhmila. And when it works, 
and when it is amila it acts the same way as laysa and i had, as i have told you its khabar is nasb in status and its ism is raf in status just like laysa's ism is raf in status same way ins ism is raf in status and the khabar is nasb in status is this clear my dear sisters let me see yeah if it is not bringing no change muhmila in jumla ismiya for jumla ismiya these two guys are there okay amila where amal is similar to laysa and muhmila in quran this is not there i have not find, found an example if you find kindly bring it to me and and i someone was showing an example um, but i think it may be a different recitation that they found that example um but because i did not find it in quran so but if somebody finds it please bring it to me and, and i will add and that will help other students as well who are you know using our notes inshallah so and the, the in jumla ismiya in is either called amila or muhmila in quran you will mainly see in 99.99% of cases in in jumla ismiya is muhmila in case of jumla failia it is ghair amila it is simply called ghair amila it's just the terminology that you need to know okay why it happens inshallah that's a next step and we will go over it why it is muhmila or amila what are the conditions you know some it, it's i think uh, too much um, to learn at the same time okay i think uh, this much information is fine for now okay okay so now come back uh, to uh, jumla negation in jumla ismiya inshallah hmm and they can be uh, yes they can be they can have an action just you know laysa and in can act on khabar yes and they in can act very similar to laysa and there are other particles that you are going to learn today that can uh, that will act like laysa yes right yes so everyone okay with in is it not too much about in if you see it in jumla failia in ghair amila if you see it in jumla ismiya since it has illa it's going to be muhmila illa results in you know failing its it, it does not let it uh, make its khabar nasb okay that be, that is because of illa its khabar is not nasb in status and in that is seen in quran is mainly with illa okay if it follows illa it does it, it its action it is not able to make its khabar nasb in status because of illa it cannot act on its khabar and make its illa its action gets nullified its action gets nullified by illa therefore its khabar is a rough in status and now in is not called amila it is called in muhmila okay it not acts, it it does not act like laysa mainly in quran you see in muhmila okay so it, its khabar is mainly going to be a rough in status so it, it because it does not act like laysa therefore it is it, it is going to be just muhmila okay in when it is seen before your jumla failia it is just called ghair amila no worries about it okay so let's go over another particle of negation that you commonly see right ma nafia Can now everyone see my slides? Ma nafia. You have learned one type of ma nafia, which was ma nafia gaid amila. Remember, in jumla filia, mudari and madin, both forms will have ma nafia as a particle of negation. We just reviewed our negation of jumla filia recently. Remember the whole table where I showed you ma coming before your mudari as well as before your madin. did it bring any change to the arab of your sentence no since it did not bring any change to the arab of the sentence it is called ma nafia ghair amila everyone understood this so far everyone is with me okay now since we have learned so many times ma nafia ghair amila today we are going to focus on what ma nafia does in jumla ismiya okay so in jumla ismiya just like in it has two forms either it is muhmila okay or it will work like laysa so when it works like laysa what will happen to its khabar 
when ma works like lisa it makes it's it, it it acts now it is in action now and it works okay and and in arab call it maul ma al hijazia that's just a term and i don't want i don't just want you to know what it does hijazia does not matter to me you learn it good for you there are students who have been learning arabic for a while if they want to learn it for their you know for so that they have complete knowledge of whatever they are being taught because this course is cater is catering you know different um students at different level so if ma, you know a beginner knows this ma negates wo jumla ismiya jumla failia fail madin mudhari that is enough for them that is enough for them but if an advanced student wants to learn what is different types of ma that are there in quran hmm it is inactive yes it it, it becomes inactive because of something okay so let's just focus okay so now one one, one ma is ma nafia muhmila in jumla ismiya same way just like you, you saw in laisa in jumla ismiya it's it can be amila or muhmila ma in jumla failia is only ghair amila okay so come back and see so if i give you the sentence ma al hijaziya is a ma that acts like laisa okay so in this case there will be a ismu ma and khabru ma does it make sense yes or no there will be an ismu ma or khabru ma so khabru ma will be what in status nasb in status so if i give you this sentence let me just enlarge it a little bit uh, for you so that you can take a slide show okay uh, ma haza basharan what is the status of haza here what do you think uh, it is haza i'm talking about haza it's rough in status right because it is why is it rough in status it is ismu ma okay ismu just like laisa's ism is rough in status ma's ism is also going to be rough in status because ma actions like it works just like laisa so ismu ma is going to be rough in status and khabru ma is going to be nasb in status so when you see surah yusuf now you should know each and every one of you should know that this part of surah yusuf this part of the verse from surah yusuf is jumla ismiya ma is ma nafia which can also be called ma al hijaziya and haza is ismu ma basharan is khabru ma yes barakallahu fi it is khabru ma let me show you another you know let me teach you something in addition to this <clears throat> sometimes just like laisa what can be added to laisa to make it more emphatic ba zaida right b b or ba zaida so similarly you, because this is so commonly seen in quran you need to know about this as well wa mallahu bi ghafilin amma ta'malun what where is my ismu ma and khabru ma who is going to tell me lafzul jalala is going to be my lafzul jalala is going to be my ismu ma bi ghafilin because once i identified my ismu ma i have to look for khabru ma which was bi ghafilin ba is ba zaida you are not going to label it as mutalik bil khabar because it is not mutalik bil khabar mutalik bil khabar is coming after amma what is this amma yes it is for emphasis amma jar wal majrur mutalik bil khabar when you see ma when you see ma after ma if it is mausula if it is mausula and this is mausula what will you look for after ma you will look for its sila what kind of sila do you have my dear sisters jumla failia is your silatul mausul jumla silatul mausul is la mahalla lahu min al arab so it is silatul mausul and this whole is together right this whole is all connected right this is mutalik bil khabar <clears throat> now i'm going to give you translation and allah is not at all unaware of what you all do Oh, and Allah is not unaware of 
what you do which translation will be the correct translation number one at all and when you see at all in your musa in your word to word it is not going to be in your most of your modern run you know not modern those are actually the, um, the the translations that have been classical translations that have been you know given by earlier scholars um a century ago so or, or less half a century ago so there you may not you know see each and everything because sometimes you know things um Uh, translation is not, not the same as quran itself that's why it's all the time being said that you know you have to read quran translation does not suffice so at all where is this at all coming from you are going to tell me b is there which is bringing more emphasis ba zaida is adding emphasis so let me take you now so since Uh, we have this uh, opportunity of learning ba zaida <clears throat> i want you to look at one sura for me and i, I want to, to see if you are able to identify your ba zaida so it was no surah takfir okay my dear sisters now very carefully let me bring the chat the chat is here okay wa ma sahibukum bi majnoon where is your ismu ma or khabruma what is number 1 number 1 was your ismu ma which where is the ismu ma sahib right sahibukum is your ismu ma be majnoon is your khabruma in actuality it is nasb in status this ba is extra 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 to bring is zaida let's just use zaida because extra is very you know it's it, it does not give the good connotation so it's it's zaida for emphasis right be majnoon everyone understood this i have been talking to you and teaching you from the very beginning when i was teaching you negation with ma the people when they are given ma the negation with ma it means that they had some other understanding of what was being told to them so wa ma sahibukum bi majnoon why allah subhanahu wa taala did not say la here why is this la sahibukum majnoon majnoon nun as a response and it is stronger and not only stronger it is to correct it is to correct whatever preconceived notion somebody else has so isn't it correcting what were people of makkah calling and this was you know with jumla failia sometimes it was hard to explain now you should understand every time every time when i tell you this that it is refu used for refutation this is refuting a claim that was made by ahli makkah right that there is you know it is you know when somebody has nothing and i give you an information i did not go to school no i did not go to school when i say no i did not go to school it means that you think that i have gone to school and now i'm trying to tell you no no i did not so when i have to clarify your confu confusion or something that you are you know fixed upon i will bring ma with more emphasis and will add ba zaida to it as well and even if when ma is alone it is used as a particle of reputation okay as well so again let's see another example in huwa is this in what kind of in is this nas because of, no it is not, not detail it is not detail because khabru ma is khabru ma is khabru ma is nas bin status that is why we are going to call it khabru ma mansub muhallan mansub muhallan majrur lafzan like you know when i look at it it looks jar in status but in actuality it is nas bin status hmm it looks jar but in in fact i know because i know from my grammar rules that khabru ma is nas bin status so this in this in is nafia this in is is it acting like laisa is it acting like laisa because it can also act like laisa so think about it no it's not because illa came illa nullified its effect so it is now ignored neglected it could not 
you know, its action has been nullified because of illa. Okay, so it is muhmila. Call it muhmila. If you see it with your jumla failure, call it gayr amila. If you see it with jumla ismia, call it muhmila. Okay, and I will give you all my notes so that you know, if for if you want to see how you have to write them and all that, you you will have access to everything. Again, so verse number forty-four. Uh, uh, no, no, it's not forty. It's verse number twenty-four. Wama huwa al alghibi bidonin. Wama huwa al alghibi bidonin. What do you think? No, ma illa ke kam after ma, and it will also nullify effect of ma, and ma will also be, will become muhmila. It can come after ma, and it comes very much so after ma, and it makes it muhmila as well. So ismuma is huwa. Ismuma is huwa. Al al ghaybi mutalik bil khabar, right? Bidoni is going to be khabruma. Clear or no? Should I repeat? Huh? Okay. Let's see another one. Wa ma huwa? Wa ma huwa bi qauli shaitani rajim? So what were they saying um, to Prophet? That you know he has connection with jinns and uh, this and that and these invisible uh, sources. So here again, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala refute is doing refutation, right? With by using ma, ma is there ma nafia, um, uh, ma nafia, al hijazia. Who is ismu ma bi kauli bi kauli is going to be khabru ma with ba zaida. And if if you see in your translation at all, your translation, that's why it is at all is there because of Bazaida. If you don't see it, you should assume it to be there. Okay, I'm not going to keep you uh, reminding you this, inshallah. And I will not have to remind you, inshallah. There will be a time you will be reminding me. And actually, that time has already come. So alhamdulillah for that. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Yes, the whole thing is khabruma because all, all is connected. Kaul, bi kauli is connected with you know shaitan with idafa and shaitan of rajim is mosufa sifa. Right, everything is connected. So you will just you know bi kauli khabru khabruma and then when you see shaitan majrur bil idafa and rajim sifa lish shaitan, it is all understood, my dear sister. Any questions on this? Maul Maul Hijazia is also a term that is used for this ma, okay? That works like Lisa, hmm? or Ma Amila is also called Ma Al Hijazia, okay? Everyone with me so far? Not too hard, or is it? Now you are going to do this one for me. What are you going to call this ma? I mean, my yaki, this ma. Now, very easy for you girls. Very easy. Now, so, no, now, say it. It is working. It is hijazia, right? It is amila, right? Amila. It is amila. Whom is going to be when? When it is amila, now think about it. Okay, it is amila. Whom is going to be ismuma? Anha, anha is going to be. We are in jumla ismi amutalib al khabar. Bigaibin. So it's my Kabruma with Bazaida, right? With Bazaida. I'm not going to call it because it is ja and I'm going to call it Jalwar Majroor. Jalwar Majroor is right. But you're going to call after writing Jalwal Majroor Khabruma with Bazaida Litokid. Hmm? Making sense? Slowly and surely. Okay, let's see if I, if I find because these surahs are you know because Makkan's word you know Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala fixed them uh, by using this ma that you know get your facts right here. Okay, so let's see if I, I have another example. Let me see. I think there were a lot of examples here. So, okay. 
Okay. Now, lo, lo, um, no, this one is, um, what, am I, what am I going to call this ma? وَمَا يُكَذِّبُ بِهِ إِلَّا كُلُّ مُؤْتَدٍ أَثِيمٍ 15? Okay. Manafia? And what kind of manafia? Oh, no, no, no. What is coming after it? Yukazibu. Yukazibu is, what kind of a sentence is this? It's failure. So when it is failure, when it is failure, it is going to be غير غير Amila, right? غير عاملة غير عاملة So it is غير Amila. And you, yukazibu is going to be fail mudare. So, uh, when I have a fail mudare malum, I have to look for the doer. Fail is there, so I have to look for file. So who is the file here? Is this the male mustatir or there is something else? Look carefully, my dear sisters. Illa kullu mutadin asim. What is the status of Kullu? Hmm? Rafin status. So can I call it doer for uh, Yukazibu? Yeah? Okay, so now my doer is there. Kullu Mutadin is ma making. Itafa. Mutadin. Asim. I, I, you know, for now they are matching and, you know, I, I will call this whole thing as outside doer, right? So yeah, Mu'tadin, Asim, it's about the same thing. If one thing can replace another, if one word is, you know, about the same as the other, what should I call it Sifa or there was one thing I have not taught you? Uh, yes, yes, right? So it's, yeah, so it's like, kind of like a badal. It becomes like, you know, it's, it's Mu'tadin, the one who transgresses is the same, the one who is always involved in sinning, right? So Mutadin, the one who crosses the limits, cannot be explained the extremely sinful one. So they, they are one and the same thing. So they can be this one, this this can be the badal for Mutadin. My dear sisters, does it make sense? Right? And I'm going to teach you this concept, inshallah, but that, this is not very important. First of all, you need to understand your verses, main concepts, and inshallah, those are coming, right? Yes, this is Jumla failure, therefore your ma is going to be called. In Jumla failure, ma in only once only one thing غير عاملة. غير عاملة. okay in jumla ismia in jumla ismia it can be amila or muhmila if the khabar is nasbin status if the khabar is nasbin status it is amila in and mar amila if the khabar is nasbin status if or if it is with bazaida it is amila if it is not the case then it is going to be muhmila. I hope this is clear, my dear sisters. Alhamdulillah. Okay, let's do, um, where are we oh, in terms of time? One minute, okay, one minute and... Um, okay, who is going to tell me? Okay, what is this la? Because we only have, I don't want you to go any further. I just want to finish this uh, surely talkie. It is coming after inna, and you have learned three kind uh, types of la. The one was ibtida, one was <laughs> one uh, one was muzahlaka, and one was fariqa. So this one, th since it came with inna, you are going to call it muzahlaka, right? Because it's a sliding one. Whatever comes with it has to go towards the end of it if it is if it is with inna okay so with inna the lam is musahlaka sliding lam right we learned it in a um, few sessions ago right so what about this one in summa innahum harf nasab wa ismuha rasalul jahim this la the same same barakallah my dear sisters i think i will uh, let you go now uh, Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayka assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu